Good morning folks and welcome back. Um, today we have a sunny day after several days of rain and uh, I wanted to test out this uh, solar powered induction cooktop that I dem demoed in an earlier video and um, the difference is I got a can it's a good size it's like a baked bean can and um, basically put some insulating material you can buy this insulating material from Walmart or other hardware stores this is the stuff I'm using from 3M it's not very expensive you can get like a big roll of it for about 20 or less dollars so I wrapped it around the can and I put the can on top of the induction heater and uh, let's check let's check it out so that whole can of water is boiling fairly easily with this uh, sun it's still winter sun so it's not real hot but it's enough to boil water I'm keeping a little lid on top that helps it to get to the boil and the solar panel setup is here I've just got two of them. In fact, one is partly in the shade, so I'm going to move that out of the shade. That will improve it. I've got a couple of buck converters. That one right there runs a fan. It doesn't even need the fan to operate. The transistors are IF, IRFP260 transistors. The second one here, which I explained on an earlier video, runs the um, gates on those transistors keeps them at 12 volts so this video just shows that with a couple of hundred watts of panels you can really get things boiling particularly if you have good insulation like what i'm using here and this is just really a concept video to demonstrate this point thanks for watching and come back for more vids in my next video i'm going to use igbt's instead of mosfets in the mozilla driver for this cooktop